Hello, good evening. How are you? No bad, teacher. No bad. <laughs> Just Hello. I am looking. I, I am looking for my notebook, and I forget my notebook in my office. <laughs> you forgot it <laughs> yeah. in your office? Yes, yeah, the the homework. The presentation. Uh, the presentation. Yes. That I was actually... trying. <laughs> but I I remember some something some 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 sentences that I wrote. Okay, very good, very good. Um, so it's it's okay. You're going to present the the homework today, right? Yes, sir. The, oh, okay. The that we develop develop is the correct word. The, yes. The profession that we work in. But yes. actually, my profession is not lawyer. My profession is is a is a military. <laughs> my my first profession. Yes, exactly. You're like, going to provide some advice, right? Yes, yes. Okay, perfect, perfect, very good. Let's see uh, who else is here. Okay, thank you for being here, Diego and Rodrigo. We are going to wait a little bit for the rest of the students, right? And we are going to have a review in the meantime, and also if you have any question, right? I don't know if you have a word already in... Um, let's see here. Yes, this is the, the part that I was looking for. Uh, have you have you read the section four or section five? Have you completed it? Do you have any question about it? Preguntas de la sección cuatro. Ya la empezaron a hacer. Ya la empezaron a realizar. O no sé si ya tienen la sección cinco, verdad? Yo he comenzado, yo he comenzado la sección cuatro hasta. Eh. A cierto punto hasta cuatro punto seis he llegado. Okay, perfect, perfect. So we are going just to check some information here, just in case that you have any question right now. Um, section four, right? We have here the information about have or get. This is what we are going to study during this week. Also, uh, we have this exercise. This is just uh, you need to choose, right? the best option. Then you have more information here about uh, the three word phrasal verbs. We are going to study that right now. And we are going to, yes, we are going to practice another conversation. You have here one conversation. We are going to practice another one also. And at the end, making suggestions, right? That's what you are going, that's what you are going to study in the platform. And that's what we are going to practice here. We are going to practice all these rules, right? Right, And this is the knowledge check. This is how can I build self-confidence? What could help me be happier? Uh, how can I lose weight, right? Just to provide, how, what can I do to save money? How can I improve my memory? How can I get along with my roommate? So we, this is just to check a multiple choice question, right? This is the knowledge check. And then you finish with a reading exercise. You have to read this and then you just need to um, answer, right? The information about the reading. If you have any question about this, if you have any doubt or problem, just let me know and I will try to help you. Now, um, thank you for being here. Let's see, Rodrigo, Diego, Estela, Cesar, and Jaime. Now we are going to have a little bit of a review. We are going to review some of the words that we uh, studied last week, section three, right? And after the homework, after the presentation, we are going to start with section four. So um, we were checking the use of uh, by plus gerunds, right? Gerunds, we already know what a gerund is. It's like a noun, it's a, it's a word that ends with ing. And in this case, uh, we can say, or we can use it, right, to say that something how something can be done to describe how something was done and to describe how something could be done. And we can use the particle by, right? This preposition by. So that's what we are going to use. Hopefully you can um, you, you use some of this vocabulary, also the vocabulary that we studied before, not only the by plus gerund, but also uh, these uh, new words, right? artistic appreciation, communication skills, competitiveness, 
concern for others, cooperation, creativity, money management, perseverance, problem solving, self-confidence, self-discipline, courtesy, time management, tolerance, and we have um, more vocabulary right about that. Let's see here. Uh, this is what we did before. This is the information that you have in um, the platform, I guess, right? By plus Jaron, right? Like how, how to do things, right? How to do things like, for example, you can make friends. How? The best way to meet people is how? I met people, but how, right? The best way to learn is by taking lessons. Some people learn by watching videos. A good a good way to get better is by going to dance clubs, right? So um, this is what we are going to, to check right now. And we have the activity, right? The homework. Let's see, this is a role play, but uh, let's see here. Also prefer and rather, you can use prefer and rather if you want to in your presentation. So that will be good. Let's see. I think I already shared this information with you. Here you have some idioms, but you can check that later in your free time. And this is the information about the presentation, right? Provide information about your profession or your area of expertise. Give some guidance and explain how a person can become better if they want to get a similar job. Pros and cons are good information, but focus on the positive side of your work experience. So you can talk about, uh, for example, if you're an engineer or if you are, um, I don't know, if you have your own um, job, you can talk about that, right? Or if you don't want to talk, or if you didn't prepare anything about your job or uh, um, your profession, you can talk about, like, for example, if you like to take pictures, uh, what is a good way to get better by taking pictures, right? By uh, by taking classes, by watching videos, by taking courses, by taking pictures with a phone or taking pictures with a professional camera. Uh, we have uh, different ways to better uh, in different fields, right? In different ways. So that's what we are going to do right now. We are going to present something that we are good at or we believe we are good at. And we are going to provide this information like suggestions, right? Like with Jerome plus by, we can use prefer, we can use rather, we can use uh, these, um, these words also courtesy if it is applicable, right? If if it fits your speech, you can you can use them. So we are going to start with the presentation to finish uh, finish section three, and we are going to start section four. I already have some activities for section four but that's a different uh, topic. So do you have any question right now? Any doubt? Preguntas? Questions? No questions? Okay, perfect. So we are, we are 13 right now. Eliu, Hilda, Zulma, Stella, Diego, Anthony, Rodrigo, Cesar, Jaime, Elizabeth, Marvin, and Nady. So we are going to start right now. I need a volunteer and I'm going to check your pronunciation, also the use of your grammar in your vocabulary. And I'm going to check also like the time, right? How much time you speak. For example, if you speak just one minute, two minutes, uh, four, five, right? It depends. And also your, your fluency and pronunciation, right? That is part of your speech. So I need one volunteer to present um, what you prepare, right? For the presentation, like your area of expertise. One volunteer. One person only. Okay, I'm going to begin. <clears throat> You're going to begin, Eliu? Yes. Okay, perfect. So, uh, what you are going to talk about today? Well, I I prepare something uh, how to be a good lawyer, but it's not my really expertise. My really expertise is to be an an soldier. 
Mm -hmm. A soldier with a rank, with a rank, with a rank, with a, with a rank is coronel. I, okay. Uh, this profession is a, it's a dangerous profession. It's a, like um, you need to make a lot of exercise, physical exercise, training in, on, on, the, on, the, on the land field, in, in, on the rural area. Um, and especially when we have a, a difficult situation in our country, uh, because when I graduate, like a second lieutenant, it the civil war began in El Salvador in 1981. So I fight, I fight in really combat, and I get half of my legs, and almost die in, in, in several locations. Uh, it, it's a, it, it's a, it's a tremendous experience like a veteran of war and um, so i retired when i was uh, too young because i retired from the uh, the army forces almost um 50 years ago from that period of time from uh, until now i i have been preparing and pre preparing in, in in another in another in academical life, I study theology and I study theology. I I teach uh, I teach to the to young people about the Bible, about how to how to live in a in a, a good obedience to God. Um, but. I have been working. I have been work after I finish. I finish. I, I finish my my act, act, active uh, period in the in the army. I I began to work in, in the enterprise and and I work. And now I am working in another uh, place, but in this place I am working uh, because of the or studies of law that I am doing right now, because I almost, I almost finished uh, next, uh, the next year I go to be a lawyer first guy. So I am working right now like an uh, information officer. It's about the new law that we have in El Salvador about uh, the transparent and the information that the public need to receive, need to receive because uh, of um, because of because of uh, uh, in a, as a result of the the peace accord this uh, this uh, law is called IP is a uh, is the lay the access to information public. I work in that, and it has pros and cons. This is correct. Say pros and cons. Yes, it's correct. correct? Yes, it, it has a lot of the pros and cons. Uh, you we need to be we need to to give information in the way that the people ask, but it's not just give information; it's just to preserve, or for example, it's a confidential information you need to keep. Uh, you need we must keep in in our in our uh, archivos, um, we need to to keep up uh, to be self confidence with uh, some kind of information and personal information. We need to keep it too, but it has a a, a cons cons. It because the student. I feel so happy when the student uh, get the information in a in a free way in a uh, without no problem or having access to the to the information that 
in in other cases could be difficult to get and now they all the people that ask for information the 99 percent receive the information that they ask that made me feel happy too and the other uh, situation expertise that i i practice is the to give information about what what we do in the in the play that i work is uh, in the play that we pay the the pension to the retire the people from the armed forces we pay the pension and we give some expertise on experience that i have and I feel happy when people uh, come back satisf satisfied. What, that's what I can tell. Okay, very good, Ilya. Very good, very good speech. Very good, perfect. And uh, you have a uh, lived different situations in your life, like you have been a soldier, a colonel, as you said. You have experienced the war. And also um, you are studying for being a lawyer and also you study theology and also you yeah. are helping veterans also, right? Yes. Uh, very good. But what is your, your favorite, your favorite, uh, for example, um, profession, let's say like being a soldier, being a lawyer, uh, studying theology, what would be your favorite or if there's any favorite? For you. My my favorite is is to be uh, have been studying theology because mm -hmm. the great thing, the great, the most wonderful thing that a man can have is to know how to understand uh, how to apply the 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 con the the content, the, the um, all, all that the Bible can have, because it, you can you can see history, you can hear how we come to our, to our, this world, how the, the the human being come to this world, how how are we going to past the, the eternal future, you can find everything. And you, when you learn that, it's the best for any man, it's the best. And for me, it's the best. I can be a lawyer, I can be a soldier, I can be, but the greatest uh, study that I had done is to study the, the, the thing of God. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good, perfect. So that is your, Favorite part, right? Uh, learning yes. about God, theology, perfect, very good, yes. perfect. You did a you did a very good job in your presentation. You you use a lot of words. I can see that your pronunciation is really good, and you can express your ideas even though you were not prepared to present today because you forgot your 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 notebook, right? But yes. it was it was good. It was really interesting knowing that you are a veteran and also. I can see that you can uh, use like gerunds and different words, right? Uh, but uh, it's normal that we forget some, sometimes we forget some things, right? For example, archivos, like you, we can say records or files. Records. And okay. la información pública, you can say like that if you want to, because it's in Spanish, but you can say, it, if you want to say it in English, it's public information access law, public information okay. access law. Uh, that's a really important okay. job also. It was really interesting. And uh, you were able to um, show your experience, right? That, that That is the most important thing that we were able to understand you. Very good. Perfect. Thank you, Elio. Uh, can you choose okay. someone else to, to provide or to present? Hey, my, is my friend Rafael there? Rafael, are you there? Rafael, I guess he's not here. No, he's not here. Sorry, Liu. Choose another let, person, please. Okay, let me see. Okay, Cesar. Okay, Cesar. Are okay. you ready to provide the presentation? Yeah, I 
I can't prepare a presentation, but I'm going to try to explain about my career and my, my major, right? Yes, your major, your career, something that you're good at, and you can provide some recommendations. So how can we become, if we are interested in your career, how can we become a good, uh, for example, engineer if you're studying engineering or uh, any bachelor's degree, right? So okay. you can go I'm ahead. Gonna... Uh, okay. Uh, well, I'm studying geophysics uh, at the University of El Salvador. Uh, it's my, my career. Uh, the geophysics is uh, like uh, physics, but the system of application is there. So uh, basically is the application of pr uh, principles of physics uh, to learn about the, the, the earth, but the surface and the interior of earth and and also start the properties or 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 earth like magnetic electric field and gravitational field like like that but um i i, I don't know i i i i do uh, i i'd rather uh, to talk about how to become a geoscientist because i, I think that not only your physics is important and all your science are very, very important. And your physics have many uh, specialization uh, areas, right? But I prefer um, make my career specialization in geoinformatics. It's, uh, I like the data science and, and the programming too. Uh, I prefer that. So, uh, how to become a, a geoscientist? Uh, well, uh, the geoscience is about the studies of the physical aspect of the earth, right? And like composition, structure, process, and the past, the present, and the future about the, the earth. But include uh, geology, uh, chemistry, physics, uh, paleontologist, uh, uh, seismology, volcanology, and <laughs> all areas that uh, include the earth. But it's important um, other skills like, for example, or, or important qualities that uh, need a person that to be become a geoscientist. So, for example, the communication skills, I think that are very important because uh, not only, not just in, in the geoscience, but in the, in the old science, it's important to uh, have communication skills uh, because need write reports and research, research papers. Um, my career is about that something, a research paper, or I don't know, find the 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 correct form or the clearly form to express another person, right? Uh, because uh, sometimes uh, we uh, we work with a team, not on not lunch, so that is very important, uh, and so that not only. Uh, have uh, a background in geoscience, but it's very, very important uh, the communication skills. So uh, another important uh, qualities are, for example, uh, the critical thinking skill that is 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 the base for findings on on some observation or evaluation of data. In in, in some case, uh, for example, uh, in in some cases, you need to to determine uh, something in, in your data, uh, and you need that critical think, uh, thinking skill. So, another uh, qualities like outdoor skill, because uh, the the people in in your science generally uh, need to 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 do um field work. So that is very, very important, the, the outdoor skills. And it's it's like a, a general sense of comfort being outside light or, or 
or for long periods of time because sometimes all day you need uh, to be out, right? And another uh, qualities that a problem solving skill that is very, very important because sometimes the, the your scientists work on a complex projects or with projects that we challenging, right? And that that is for me that is very necessary for be a geoscientist. Uh, only that. Teacher. Okay, very good, very interesting, perfect. Um, so your 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 career in, at the university, Cesar, is uh, your uh, you will be an engineer or a physicist. No, it's a, a like a bachelor, licenciatura in geophysica. Oh, uh, bachelor's in geophysics. Okay, very yeah, good. Bachelor's in geophysics. Yeah, but like I said, right, is that the, like physics, but had another areas or that are important. Exactly. Have you have you received or are you receiving English classes in your area in? Um, uh, geophysics no no but but it's very important i i said uh, some classes uh, ago that i had the english <laughs> before my career <laughs> really but uh, i i i understood that it's very necessary because some material or the best material is in english and for communication uh, outside the, the the country is necessary the English because this is como is this like the generally idiom or the general language right for for uh, uh, other speakers like uh, in conference or in congress or for presentation of papers it's very very important the English. Okay, yes, re really good. Actually, I was asking you because you were able to talk about with a lot of vocabulary that is from your um, uh, your career, right? Like seismology, chemistry, volcanology. So all of that is a very complex language, uh, like vocabulary that you don't learn in English classes, but it's really good that you are using that. Uh, really good. Okay. I was able to understand everything you said. Um, also, you point out different things like, um, like if someone is interesting, uh, interested in being a, a physicist or a geoscientist, right? Uh, yeah. To you point out different um, uh, aspects and also different information that we can take into account. That was really really good. Um, another thing is. Uh, Sometimes uh, I, there there were some words because it's it's normal, right? Pronunciation, it's uh, sometimes a problem in general if we don't speak natively the English. Uh, when we say when we say res research paper, right? What is a research paper? The the, the research res research paper that's mm -hmm. difficult. Research paper, I like articles or something like that because. Um, for example, in a conference or a poster is uh, another uh, type of research paper like that. But generally, uh, is like uh, paper. Uh, well, papers are articles of, of science. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, trabajo de investigación, right? Research paper. Yeah. Very good. Also, uh, let's see another thing that I application evaluation critical thinking. How do you say uh, determinar in English? Oh, okay. I don't how, know. How do you say? So you say determinate. That's, uh, I, I was okay. able to understand. That's okay. But it's determine, right? It's important to determine. 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 Exactly. That That's okay. a difficult word, actually. And determine. you can be, you need to be outside, right? Be out, it's okay because I was able to understand, but you can say also be outside. But okay. general, generally is it's really good. It was really good presentation. I am really amazed and really good. Perfect, Cesar. Thank you for your okay. mm -hmm. presentation. Uh, if you have prepared or if in the future we have another presentation, if you want to prepare images, 
you can share your screen and we can uh, see if you prepare something else, right? But if you're just prepared this, it's okay, no problem. I understand okay. that you're kind of busy, no problem. Thank you, Cesar. Choose another person, please. Okay, uh, Zulma Perez. Zulma Perez, are you there, Zulma? Yeah, teacher. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready to present, or do you have okay. time for your homework? Yeah. Okay. Um, what are you going to talk about? Um, technical and engineering computer network. Okay, how to be a better engineer and like systems engineer or a computer engineer? Uh, engineer in computer network is okay. Redes. Okay, very good. Networks. Okay, perfect. Go ahead, please. What yeah. what can we do? How can we be a, a good engineering computer networks? Okay, um bueno. Uh, I am a technician in engineering and computer network and a specialist in network and Cisco CCNA. Mm -hmm. uh, the best part, uh, job in this area of computer science are Java developers and programmers. Mm -hmm. uh, to be a network engineer and programmer, you must scale the mathematics and Taking much course, learn many code. And unfortunately, there is a lot of opportunity in this country because without experience, the most the pay is um, $360 and start working as cashier. Uh, bueno, and start working as cashier in customer service in a bank. Working in a bank make you have a good presentation, um, mental and numerical ability, ability to do, and a tolerance with cl clients, clients, no sé si me equivoco, and confident and with the bank. Uh, the excess money counting, but the also poorly paid. They only pay $350 is a much responsibility and, and there come a network um, monitoring projects and the pay was uh, only $10 more. And it was to monitor the bank's network um, 24 in the shift, the project uh, they had, it's mean, was not. Career or there, uh, the bank then I left work because I had uh, my baby and now I have, and I know I have a bookstore. But seeing I have financial feedroom and I am a own boss and I am doing doing very well. Only okay, very well, very good, very good. Perfect. Suma, uh, so I you mentioned about uh, different things, right? Three different things like engineering in computer networks, your that is your uh, area, right? And also you talk about being a working as a cashier in a bank okay. and also now you are self-employed now you have a bookstore what is your mm -hmm. favorite of all of them all of them like uh being um, uh, working with computers working in a bank working in a bookstore i prefer a bookstore uh, because uh, uh gives me financial freedom mm -hmm. and i do myself and that way and I spend more with time with my family. Okay, very good, perfect. Um, do you find English very difficult or it's easy for you? No, it's very difficult. <laughs> it's very difficult. 
Yes, in this, in your case, uh, just a recommendation, just try to listen more English, right? Try to listen a lot of songs. If you like music, right? Try to listen music in English. If you like series or movies, try to listen to these movies in English. Now we have different platforms in which you can listen to these. Uh, you can use subtitles or you can change the language. That will be really helpful because you are able to express your ideas, but it's the same problem. Sometimes we don't know some words we don't know how to pronounce the words. So we need to listen and then we need to reproduce, right? We need to imitate. In this case, some of the words that I noticed, most of the words were, were really good. La mayoría estuvo muy bien. But some of the words is uh, programadores, right? Programmers. Um, yes, ma matemática, right? Mathematics. You need to take courses. Uh, money, right? I uh, We say money, but it's, uh, it's normal because that's the way we read the words. It's money and financial freedom, right? Libertad financiera, financial freedom. But uh, yes, uh, you said also a much responsibility, but you can say also I, I have a lot of responsibility also. But it was it was uh, really good. Thank you for sharing your experience. It was really interesting. Now, uh, Zulma, uh, choose someone else, another person, please. Rodrigo Daniel Melendez. Ro Rodrigo Daniel Melendez. Are you there, Rodrigo? Rodrigo. Rodrigo Daniel. Probably Rodrigo Antonio, right? Rodrigo Antonio Melendez, not there? Okay, perfect. Probably someone else. Let's see someone else. Who is ready for the presentation? A volunteer? Alguien que esté listo para la presentación? A volunteer, voluntario? Me, teacher. Who said me, teacher? Let's see. Sandra. Sandra. Okay, perfect, Sandra. Let's see. Uh, mm -hmm. What are you going to talk about right now, Sandra Patricia, right? I am, I am going to talk about my job. Your job. What is your job about? I, I work for a public institu institution. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And I am bachelor degree in accounting. And my first job, uh, my first time, is, is I worked by a company during, during five years in private company. Mm -hmm. Now I work in public institution and I work for two years with the work as tax auditor. Mm -hmm. And now in the same place, I am working with a team of lawyers and account accountants, and my work is similar forensic accountant mm -hmm. because I I do analysis analysis of evidence evidence accountant, and then to decide is the company in focus pay taxes taxes according to the law. Mm -hmm. And for to get a work in my area, area is necessary to be a bachelor degree in accounting with expertise in law taxes, with ability to analyze, communicate clearly or orally and writing. Mm -hmm. And commitment to maintain the highest level of confidence about the manage the taxpayer because I I always I, I am always the, uh, learning because uh, I I know several companies co corporate and every case is different. 
And I am learning always. And, uh, it is a good way to learn in my area is to read interpreter that law, working with lawyers and practicing, practicing in my work. I prefer to work as auditor, taxes, tax and contact. After years ago, I, uh, I accountant, but when the tax auditor come, the accountant afraid. <laughs> and then I prefer to say, I prefer uh, uh, tax auditor, mm -hmm. but accountant better salary. Mm -hmm. Also, accountant is better, better salary than a tax auditor? Uh, depend the is the company is a company corporate the, the salary is better but I need to to talk English uh -huh. but but company has several comp company around the world mm -hmm. okay but, Very good. In, uh -huh. but in my world I need to read some document in English too. Mm -hmm for the company. And are you able to understand the documents? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, and, but you know, Google. <laughs> yes, but, exactly. Uh -huh, uh -huh, but it's necessary English for a content and auditor mm -hmm. to know okay. English. <laughs> okay, perfect. Uh, very good, very good, Sandra Patricia. Very good. You did it very well. Actually, you talk a lot and you, that's good. And you express your ideas. I understood uh, everything. Your pronunciation is really good. Actually, um, I see that you are able to use this kind of complex words like analysis, evidence, accountant, mm -hmm. level of confidence, mm -hmm. taxpayer, all of that. Mm -hmm. You are very familiarized with all of, all mm -hmm. of these terms. So it was really good um uh there are some uh, sometimes we are afraid to speak in english sometimes that's because we are afraid to speak or mispronounce some words like institution right probably we know how to pronounce institution but sometimes mm -hmm. we we are afraid but it was really good it was really good sandra congratulations choose someone choose someone else please mm -hmm. Hilda Contreras. Hilda Contreras. Are you there, Hilda? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what happened, Hilda? Um, estoy entrando en contexto. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. No, actually, we were talking about uh, the homework, right? The homework that we had uh, last Thursday. You have to present something. For example, talk about something that you know. For example, if you are um i didn't know a chef right you can tell us how to become a better chef like what would be a good field to study do you like to eat food do you like to prepare food like this kind of things so oh. everybody's presenting different yes. things right i don't know if you did the homework i i do right now <laughs> you did it right now are you prepared to present or do you want to do it tomorrow no no okay oh, today yes. oh, yeah. Cuando? <laughs> Okay, very good, very good, Hilda. Okay, so what, what are you going to talk about? It's about my work. And okay. My work is about a beauty area. I am cosmetologist. And when my customers come to me for get a new appearance, I try to get a have a comfortable experience. And only two or four hours can help someone to going to be feel like a new person and and help with your psychical problems like love or physical sorry <laughs> physical <laughs> physical um, problems and um, about money, uh, someone cry or or tell me her problems, and I I try to show 
some ways tend to take for solve the problems or change change the term if I see someone sad about their problems. I think the self-love comes from get someone time from himself or herself. I love my my work, but I really love making beauty is change the happiness feeling. And and I I uh, in other way I I I can um, another way I I I try to or how how is it and um, I want to be a uh, science or a polarity person, uh, but I think the um, the plant is is the cure, and now the person say uh, only get a appeals if is we feel a a, a heart a uh, heart is it is okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, uh, um, no, another, another way I, I, I think that that is better. Or <laughs> in the in the school, tell me my pro, uh, my teachers tell me if I need to to be a study science <laughs> or about science. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And I tell him, um, oh, oh, good science. <laughs> a bit better. I I try to to is, um, learn no learn to oh. I just don't know how to say it. <laughs> to learn to uh, leer carta. Eso sí me encantaría hacer. I, 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 I love that thing too. <laughs> and the plants and the cards and, and making a fit, beautiful fit. That three things I, I, I love. My one I do. That's it. Okay, perfect. Very <laughs> good. Very good. Perfect. So you are a cosmetologist, right? A cosmetologist. Yes. And you love uh, your general. job. Yes, I, I love, uh -huh. love make a uh, fit, a uh, beauty fit. Beauty fit. Oh, los pies. De los pies. Ah, beauty. Ah, for the foot, for the fit, beauty fit. So you arrange the food. The food. Oh, okay. I understand. Perfect, perfect. And also, uh, you are like a psychologist, right? Because you hear other people's problem, also, right? Yes. Yes. So, someone once come, comes to me and cry and and, and out, out of my house, beauty and change your face and change your animal. Eh, <laughs> me siento mejor yo también cuando se van felices. <laughs> yes, yes. Actually, uh, every job is important, and that's good that you feel good, um, making other people feeling good. Also, very good, perfect. Uh, mm -hmm. The same, the same story with everybody, right? We just need to practice a little bit more of English, and this is good. This is really great uh, because you were. I was able to understand most of your ideas, but it was, it was really great. Uh, you just need to practice a little bit more. But congratulations for that, Hilda. For Thank you. Now, Thank you. can you choose someone else, please? Let me see. Um, Nady? Nady. Nady, are you there? Are you available to speak today? Yes, teacher. Okay, Nady. Tell me mm -hmm. uh, what you are going to talk about. Um, my profession is business administration. Mm -hmm. And 
I am more specialized in human resource. Okay. And I have eight years of experience in human resource. Mm -hmm. um, the most important thing think of all is the management with people. Uh, because is if people companies will not exit. Um, the existence of any company depends on the management of human resources. Therefore, it is necessary to keep people satisfied, satisfied and with the sense of importance, they need to make them feel that mm, they are important and feel that sense of, of belonging, simply put, happy people equal successful businesses. For a person to improve in this area is very important. Personal growth and professional knowledge in human resource management such as compensations and benefits, uh, recruitment and selection of staff, uh, organizational development, among others. Uh, only okay, very good. Perfect, Nady. Very good. So you are a business administration, bachelor's degree, and also human resources, right? Yes. Very good. Perfect. Um, let me see here. Do you use English in your job or do you just learn it like an extra, like a plus? It's important uh, for... Uh, mm. For the relaciones laborales, pero yeah, for work relationships. Yes. Okay, very good. So, but but you speak English with your coworkers or with somebody in your job? Yes. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Very good because it's important to to know that uh, because you are able to practice your English, right? Okay. Uh, I can see that you investigated, or I don't know if you use this kind of word like management, yes. um, HR, uh, the people has to be satisfied, like um, also the growth, personal growth, uh -huh. the resources, compensation, benefits. All of that is, is are really important words because are related to your job. Very good. Uh, it's, it's the same uh, recommendation for you also, like just listen more English. If you like a song in English, try to learn, investigate the words and pronunciation and you will get better. Or if you like a movie, right? For example, you can also listen to it in English and then imitate that. But it, it is really good. You, you have a good level of English, I guess. Very good, Nady. Choose someone else. Let's see if this person is the last one. Uh, another person, please choose someone else. Um, Marvin Joseph. Marvin Joseph Salazar Alas. Are you there, Marvin? Hello. Marvin? Yes, are yes, you there? Teacher. Okay, perfect. Are you ready for the presentation? No, ready, but I will try it. Okay, very good, Marvin. Uh, what are you what are you going to talk about right now? Okay, teacher, let me see. I start to study uh, technician, computer maintenance, and I I was work uh, on the company uh, when we. We provide uh, uh, technical support for for a uh, user for the window and network relation for computer. Mm -hmm. Then uh, I study a, a teacher on the formation course for for teaching teaching class. In, in the same computer, computer system. Um, I, 
I, I was work uh, part time for teaching. the computing class. And then I study a, a system engineer, a system computer. Mm -hmm. um, today I I independent. The the company contract me or, or I I saw just for uh thing for and project network and programmer and, and, and other things. Yeah. And I, I know I, I, I like it and it for for the help people uh, just computer everything relation for the computing system. Okay, very good. So you are an engineer in computer science, like? Yes. Yes, okay, perfect. And also you took courses to teach. So you teach computer science nowadays? Yes, teacher, a part, a part time. Right? Part time. We, where where do you where do you teach? Uh, digital electronic, uh, analogic electronic. Mm -hmm. And do you do you work in a university or in a school or is just like an academy? Only high school. Oh, high yes. school oh, okay high yes. school do you like your job yes i, I like the job. you like you, you like to be a teacher oh. and everything for for like people from high schools yes okay perfect do you use english in your daily basis on your in your job no teacher just just no, spanish only spanish only spanish okay very spanish. good perfect. i think I uh -huh. need to speak English, teacher. Yes, you need to speak English. You did it very well because actually I was able to understand um, your presentation. That's good. Also that you are a teacher, that you study like computer science. Uh, it's normal, right, to have some mispronunciation. The company hired me, right? Contract me. No, hire me, hire. So it's just, um, it's kind of difficult, I understand. But it's just a matter of, of practice really good perfect marvin uh, you did it really good actually thank you for your participation now i want now we almost finish uh with the class now i will ask two things just to finish who wants to present tomorrow because we are a short of time we have just one hour right we don't have like two hours or two hours and a half so we just have a limited time and also we need to develop the platform and also the, the, the other topics, right? And other exercises. So who wants to present tomorrow? It is not an obligation. Um, it is just for you to practice, right? But um, I don't know if somebody is has prepared the presentation. That's why I'm asking you. If you have prepared your presentation, you can uh, present tomorrow, but it's not an obligation. Just raise your hand. And I will write it down if you want to present tomorrow. If you don't want to present tomorrow, it's okay. We have other activities, okay? Also, uh, the other, the second uh, question that I had is, have you worked in the platform section four? I'm asking you this because I don't want you to have problems uh, at the end of the week, uh, telling you how oh, you have to work, you have to finish this, you have to finish that. Uh, I know that some of the um, questions are really easy, but some others are kind of complicated because it is hard to, well, the system doesn't work as we wish, right? Sometimes these kind of, these kind of uh, questions are kind of complicated. They, they have to be exact or sometimes we have to write the period. So uh, keep on working. If you have any doubt, 
uh, we can solve it tomorrow at the beginning of the class or at the end. And um, just let me know what section, what part is. And if you have been working in section five, also the last section, just let me know also. So do you have any question right now? Any doubt? Preguntas? No questions. Okay, remember, I'm asking you uh, at, at the end of every class, if you have questions, uh, so at the end of the week, you are not going to be like, teacher, what is this? Teacher, what is that? Right. So just keep on working in section four. And if you have any doubt, you can ask me tomorrow. No homework for tomorrow. It's okay. Tomorrow we are going to start section four and hopefully we are going to end uh, on Thursday. Okay. Probablemente terminemos el, el jueves con toda la información. Esto es fácil. Si ya vieron la plataforma, es, son temas fáciles. Así que nos vamos a ver mañana a las 8 a la misma hora. Gracias por su participación, por su presentación. Y vamos a seguir teniendo este tipo de ejercicios para que ustedes sigan aprendiendo. Y recuerden investigar el vocabulario que a ustedes les hace, eh, se les es fácil para ustedes, para expresarse ustedes, ¿verdad? Hablar de ustedes, porque eso es lo que van a utilizar probablemente algún día. Así que thank you very much for being here. And I will see you tomorrow, okay? Have a nice night. Thank you. Have a nice night. Thank, Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night.